continuous compound interest, so therefore I say you invest $2,000 in an account earning an amount annual interest rate of 10% continuously compounded. I don't know, I guess I didn't write the compound. Continuously compounded. Continuously compounded for 20 years. Now, for previous slides, for um, compound interest, we just worked on this, right? We used all these terms. Well, now n represent the number of times per year. So it's either daily, monthly, weekly, yearly. Um, but now our n is not going to be one of those. It's still going to be compound per year. But now our n doesn't necessarily represent e, but now we have, um, instead of having n, we're now going to just use a constant e. And what e represents is when we're going to be using continuous interest. Now, we're not going to plug e just in for n and represent it. But we actually have a whole new equation we're going to use. Okay, So when you have continuous interest, do not just plug e in for n. All right, But now we're going to have to use this continuous interest formula. But p, r, and t are going to be exactly the same. All right, So I won't write n equals e, because that's not really true. But we're, re we're substituting in our e in for the number of times we're compounding. So therefore, Exactly, I go back through here. My P is my initial amount, so A equals $2,000 times E times my rate, which is 10%, so it would be 0.10 times T, which is 20. OK, so then you take your handy dandy calculator. And ladies and gentlemen, you can go ahead and find, uh, you can find your E in your calculator. And so simply what I'll do is I'll just do 0 0.10 times 2 is 2. But I'll take E, raise it to the second power, which is 7.3890560099. And I'll keep that value in my calculator as I multiply by 2,000. And therefore, I get A equals 1,478.11. All right, so you got to be able to find the E back in there with you on your calculator to do the comp continuous interest. All right? No set?